Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to use the three doodler. So before we get started, we just wanted to let you know that if you use this pen effectively, you can become an empowered learner by showing and demonstrating what you've learnt in class. You can also become an innovative designer by solving problems and creating new, useful or imaginative solutions with your 3 Doodler. So to get started with the 3 Doodler, what you'll need is the actual 3 Doodler. You'll need a filament. You'll also need a wall plug and if you're not near a wall you can use the 3 Doodler jetpack. So the first thing you do is plug it into the wall and turn it on just like Mr Kemp is showing you. Then you push the connection inside of the 3 Doodler and a red light will appear. Then you just have to wait for a few minutes until the red light turns to green or blue depending on your setting. Once you see the light turn green or blue you can adjust that to your liking. Turn your 3 Doodler on by pressing the button at the front and then carefully put your filament into the back of the 3 Doodler. Don't force it in, just place it in there and then slightly twist it with your finger and thumb until you feel it catch into the cogs. Once it does catch, let go and you'll see the filament slowly go through the back of the 3 Doodler and out the front. To get started, push the slow setting. When you put your 3 Doodler near the board, leave a tiny gap between your pen and the board and that way the filament will stick to the board and it will let you turn corners. When you're drawing up with the 3 Doodler, turn the 3 Doodler off and then keep it hovering until the filament dries. When you lift your 3D drawing up, please be careful because it is very fragile. When you have finished drawing, turn your 3 Doodler off on the side and then switch the wall plug off. Leave the 3 Doodler on the table and please stay away from the nozzle as it is extremely hot. Then you can tell a teacher you have finished. 